Okay, Christina Merkley here, and I am here with Carla. Welcome. I'm also here with my neighbors doing something across the way with big cranes and staple guns. So if, <laughs> if there's any noises happening, that's what's happening. So we'll just trust the process. It might come up for punctuation occasionally at different places. Yeah. And uh, we were just, uh, before we flicked on the recording, just doing a quick little check-in. So we've had the uh, wonderful privilege and opportunity to work with you in the past. So this is a bit of a different situation than our usual, because normally we're in a private container, but this one's a little more public given it's being recorded and be shared down the road. So, but you were still up for that. So that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, great. Well, thank you for offering this. Tell me a little bit about um, why you signed up for it. And um, if you have ideas about where you want to place the focus, that'll give me a starting place and we'll figure out where to, where to roam from there. Yeah, well, uh, with my partner, life and business partner, we are, have been trying to launch a program, a coach certification program for a while. And um, we've just been trying it in different ways and not quite kind of nailing it. So um, we're trying to, we're exploring our big marketing idea, the thing that's going to make people the ideal people we're meant to work with take notice and see our program as the one for them. Mm -hmm. And so I'm working, we're working with a marketer right now and exploring all these different ideas, but because we've both been in business for so long and we've got so many offerings, we have to prune them all down and distill. And, and I think that's been the problem. We've been trying to do too many things for too mm -hmm. many types of people. So we just mm -hmm. really want to just pick one lane and just focus there and get traction. But we keep getting lost in our heads around it. We keep going around, around, around and getting lost. So I think I just want to get out of my logical little world where I'm lost in the trees and sort of fly up above and get some help from you to see the the bigger path. picture. Yeah, I yeah. go over to the right brain and see what you can get that way. Yeah. Um, I started these off in response to COVID sweeping across North America and we did that for the first couple of weeks and, and now 2020 has more things that are unfolding. <laughs> so I think it's a fascinating year. Uh, anything you want to say about that? How that? Because I'm there's some um, trains from how we've been ordered and working, and then this big thing, or maybe it's not a big thing in your world. It's interesting as I meet with different people, right? Everybody's got a different experience. So how how has it? How has the pause, quote unquote, uh, been for you? And and the the swirl of uh, uh, civil unrest. Uh, uh, racial issues being examined in the U.S. Both you and I are in Canada, so um, not that that's, well, it's different because we're not right there in the Mecca of where that's happening. It's obviously sweeping across the world as well. So just curious about anything along that line as well. Uh, yeah, no, it had a huge impact. Uh, we were in the middle of a move right when <laughs> we like sold everything and we were wow. moving to Europe. Really? And, uh, wow. Yeah. yeah, when it happened, because um, we have a place in Europe. And so we just thought, you know, we have too many places and let's consolidate and let's simplify our lives and let's, and, and um, my partner's mom, you know, it was be better to be closer to her and she's in Europe. And so mm -hmm. we just thought, okay, so we sold everything and then <laughs> COVID hit and we're like, okay. Um, and right where we were moving was becoming the epicenter. Mm -hmm. um, and so everyone was saying like, don't move, don't travel. And so we ended up um, moving to Bowen Island instead. Hmm. I've never even heard of that. Where is that? Oh, it's just a little island in um, uh, kind of in the Gulf Islands. Oh, did you say Bowen or Bone? Oh, Bowen. Oh, okay. I do know where Bowen is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, where's Bone Island? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and cool. You moved to Bowen. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so um, we've just been kind of holding down the fort here. Did um, you just get like a, a temporary rental or something and 
is there stuff in storage or I guess you already sold it to go to Europe? We sold everything. So we've moved in with family actually. Oh yeah. 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 Big place here. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's really nice to have this big place and be with family and be, um, we we just thought we would be here not as long. Um, Yeah. 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 (laughs) And so, yeah. So part of our, issue is okay when are we moving where are we moving Mm -hmm. um because everything's still like don't move don't um they're not even letting people into different countries so and then you know we have things like um you know with my partner with passport and and um, visitor visa expiring Mm -hmm. and stuff so it's Mm -hmm. all been and and you can't change any of that right now because it's all online and for canada and, for yeah, him is to be here yeah yeah so he actually can't leave right now until all that gets sorted out until those offices open up so we're wow. sort of stuck yep. basically mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know luckily our business is online so we mm-hmm. just keep going with what we're doing and there's lots of space here for us to do our work and so it's actually it been very, very lovely to be yeah, in the city. If you're going to be stuck. Bowen Island's a pretty sweet place to be stuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Hmm. Um, and then, you know, I guess it was only a matter of time before there'd be civil unrest uh, uh, on a lot of issues, <laughs> you know, just um, so I've been waiting for that and expecting that. And yes. um, it's been you know, disturbing at one level and at another, it's kind of, um, it's so interesting to see so many different points of view Mm -hmm. and so many conflicting points of view. And I've always thought that, you know, part of our role here on, in the planet is, is discernment, like wise discernment. And so it just feels like it's from, if I'm going to take, try to take a positive view on it all, it would be it's like a like a intense exam or test on on wise discernment like (laughs) what's real here and what is being sort of blown out of proportion and how do we how do we navigate this in a what with wisdom you know Mm -hmm. i think everyone's being challenged that way because there's so many things to trigger our basic survival and, and and sense of self and our sense of dignity and respect and worthiness and and, you know like can Mm -hmm. i pay the bills and you know all that stuff is being challenged and everybody so i I mean i coach people so i'm helping Mm -hmm. them with that stuff every day Mm -hmm. intensely as i'm sure you are Mm -hmm. yep and we're individuals with our own shtick too yeah exactly (laughs) exactly yeah Ah, but it is interesting when you uh, have a role in that too, right? From facilitator, coach, change management kind of perspective um, for that part of ourselves to kind of be in this and look at it and have curiosity around it and the openness of, you know, what's going to happen here? How is this going to unfold? Which scenario, you know, I keep falling back on scenario planning. Which scenario is going to unfold? What are the indicators yeah 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 okay um well before we started i kind of felt two things and i still feel the the same two things and they can dovetail very nicely so the two things in terms of you know how to enter this and which which process to do right um you're already set up with alpha mind and that works very well for you so That's definitely one way we could approach it. Um, The other one is just straight up inquiry, you know, from rising consciousness and seeing what unfolds there. um, In either case, what's the, what is the inquiry question? I'm hearing multiple ones. So I'm just curious which one you might pick as the starting place, knowing that the rest of them may get answered in the, whichever process we end up doing anyway. Yeah. And I think the main one is just to distill down uh, how to offer what we offer for the people we're meant to serve right now so that they really get it. 
And um, what's your spidey senses say about that choice of options? Alpha minder inquiry. Uh, well, I think I've only ever done alpha mind with you, or maybe I've done something else, but I just didn't know what it was called. Yeah, so. we did a lot of stuff earlier on uh, with okay. you, but then we settled into alpha mind because it works so well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's do alpha mind then. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I'm just going to get a bring up a sh sheet of paper here, quote unquote paper, digital paper. My brush set is missing. One second, where'd it go? Lagoon, color puck, brush puck, brush library, color editor. There we go. Okay. I had to reboot it. I was missing one of my things. Uh, let's both get centered and uh, focused. And I, I invite you to bring your awareness to your body. And if there, I'm not sure how much the background noise comes through, but we can just use it, right? So if you do happen to hear any of the rev of the crane engine or stuff like that, we can just use it to go deeper. Okay. And as you're focusing into your body, just kind of letting go however you let go of it, the conversation we had entering into here, right? And just the logistics of coming here and being together and getting settled here, just kind of letting that fall off however it likes to fall off. And as that falls off, just becoming more aware of your body and sensing into it, maybe the feet down on the floor and sensing into the feet and the land underneath it. You're in a really remarkable place, a special land of feeling deep into the earth. Bowen Island and then the trees and the water. And the other islands and... British Columbia at large and the U.S. to the south of us and across the ocean to the Pacific Rim. Just knowing where you are in geography here in 2020 and how your body is in that geography at this point in time. When you're ready, we're just uh, anchoring here, but part of you is going to leave this body anchored here and then we'll go to another place. And as we start that little journey, we're just moving up the spinal column. I'll count them out in terms of chakras because I know you're familiar with that. You know it inside and out, not just familiar. So we're just gonna move on up from the base from one up to two. Gently moving into three. We got eyes on the heart, so we're moving into the heart. Four. We're traveling on up to five, up into the throat. Taking a little twirl in there because we need that truth, spoken truth. Taking that with us up into six. Doing a little twirl there, so we're taking right seeing with us as well. The third eye. Continuing on up to seven, up to the crown, to the connection to the universal. And then at the little top of your head, there's a opening that appears. And your consciousness forms as a little you standing there at the top of the head. 
And then a rainbow bridge appears and that little you can slide down that slider bridge. Kerplunk, you come into your nature place. You've had a nature place previously, so just check it may be the same one. Maybe something different going on. Just So just whatever you notice, and again, you might notice it in all the different senses. You might see, know, touch, taste, feel, hear, whatever it is. Anything you notice in nature place before we move on to the workshop itself. Uh, yeah, it's the same place, and there's uh, a tree with a swing on it, and a girl on the swing. Hmm. Never, never, never noticed that before. Okay, so we're going to just welcome, welcome, thank you. Go ahead over to the swing, and the tree, and the girl. Say your hellos, and see if there's anything that wants to happen with this girl on the swing. Well, I'm not getting anything definitive other than she's like um, a, a drawing of a girl in a swing rather than like a real girl in a swing, kind of like a, um, a Nancy Drew. Hmm. It's like Nancy Drew on a swing, which is books I read as a child. Mm -hmm. so. I don't know why that's there, but well, we'll just <laughs> this uh, just like inquiry. We'll just like welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just see as you welcome her and you take that in and you, you have those flashes of Nancy Drew. I read those too. So and see what unfolds as you just take her in and kind of do a little bow and you're open. Just see if anything unfolds. Doesn't have to, but we'll see. Oh, uh, I guess it's kind of like um, being in a curious state of mind because she was a detective, mm, right? And um, but she was kind of still a child, so a childlike de curiosity um, state of mind would be helpful here. Okay, great. Out of that, bow to curiosity and to a childlike state of mind. I think you said openness in there too. Right. Okay, thanking your consciousness for that. Let's see if anything else wants to unfold here or that was what was wanting to come across. And if we can proceed to the workshop, no rush, we'll just follow the lead of your consciousness. Uh, I see the rabbit. The rabbit's always there, and the rabbit is ushering me towards the workshop. Oh, okay. So it's like, come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, we will. We will follow the rabbit's lead. It's feeling a little like Alice in Wonderland here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so nodding and uh, uh, acknowledging the rabbit and its direction to proceed to the workshop. You've got 21 stair steps, however it is set up there. So just proceed along at your own pace through those 21 stair steps, however they're set up. Of course, you encounter the door and the door is calibrated just for you and it knows it's you. So it opens for you. On the other side is that healing light so just doing a little hokey pokey under the healing light. And when you're ready, emerging into the workshop itself, having come with a particular inquiry, it knows that. And I don't know how long it's been since you've been in there. No worries either way, but we just want to bring curiosity and openness also to just checking out the workshop as you enter into it at this moment. Anything that you sense or notice as you step into it.
<laughs> so funny. I see, um, I see like a dragon, like an older dragon that's sort of in bed clothes, you know, like 19, you know, 1800s bed clothes with like a nightcap. <laughs> Like mm. And then I see um, Baby Yoda. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Got a whole character. So, so first off, we're going to bow to the dragon, that ancient dragon in night clothes. <laughs> Interesting garb. Yeah. And then you got a little baby or a baby Yoda there as well. So as you bow to the dragon, anything you notice as you bow to it, is it just pointing you along to Yoda? And the dragon has somewhat ominous energy, um, maybe just a bit grouchy from being raised from its slumber. Um, <laughs> mm. and then the baby Yoda is kind of, kind of like the baby Yoda that's in the Mandalorian television show, which is super cute, but highly powerful and, and wise, even though it's a baby. Got that innocence, but wiseness at the same time. <laughs> Okay, so this guy's a little grumpy. He's kind of cramped up there in the workshop. He's wrapped mm. really big and he's not really fitting very well. So he's having to kind of crouch down. Mm -hmm. I guess I could bait the workshop bigger so it's more comfortable for him. Why don't we just go ahead and do that? Mm -hmm. Understandably, the essence of dragon wants to uncontract and expand. So... <laughs> And uh, interesting, it's had its uh, bed clothes on. So what's that about? I think it's like, it's like a power within me, this sleeping dragon energy that's, you know, it's just like a, a power that has been left dormant mm. that, wants, that wants to be used, but wants to be used with wise... Um, energy with with a sense of innocence, which I think is what the baby Yoda represents. Okay, wonderful. So these two being connected. Let's go to baby Yoda. Same thing, anything we encounter, we just want to acknowledge it and say yes and welcome and it's welcoming you. Here it is in your alpha mind. And as you bring that curiosity and openness, what's going on with this little baby Yoda? It's kind of that <clears throat> wise observer energy, I think. That's what it feels like it represents to me, the, the wise observer that doesn't get reactive. Like the dragon energy can be maybe more associated with the primitive brain and the, the reptilian brain within a human. So it can be like the reactive part of me, whereas the... The baby Yoda is more like the neutral, compassionate witness, the, the observer that doesn't react. Mm. So bowing to it, encountering it, and seeing what's happening as you're acknowledging it and noticing baby Yoda.
So I guess I should bring my question forward to them. Okay. So that's what arose was, was the mind pops in and goes, Hey, I got a question lined up here. <laughs> I got a Yoda. Seems like the logical thing to do, which is to ask my question. Perfect. Proceed. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. It's the, the that would be the, the big uh, differentiator of our work, which is actually to integrate the lower brain functions with the higher mind functions. Mm. At, where, you know, other coaching programs obviously do that, but um, it feels like some of them sort of try to subjugate the lower mind, um, whereas it's sort of a more of a working with that mm -hmm. is going to actually help you evolve the integration. And I, I think you know, that's what humans are, many humans are here to do is actually integrate, you know, um, integrate various kinds of DNA, integrate polarities, bring, um, bring wisdom to the darkness and bring the darkness up to the, the higher vibration. And so that's probably at a high conceptual level what we're offering. Okay, so my guess what just happened is you got a whole download and a packet of information, and now the brain's doing its best to unpack it. Yeah. So lean back in there, and knowing you're bringing an inquiry, and you got to, remember you've got a translator in there somewhere, so you can use your translator too, which sometimes can help with clarity. Everything that you... Uh, pinpointed awesome and just see as you bring that translator out and you direct to baby Yoda again with that inquiry see what the next layer comes as you're bowing to that first layer Yeah, it's something about create this container being the container into which people who have a lot of polarity within them can integrate that. Mm. Um, so we create that container for our coaches to learn how to do that within themselves and then they can help others mm -hmm. because they have a system for doing it mm -hmm. so that's sort of giving me an idea okay. of great you get more specificity so right. wonderful yeah okay great so so uh beyond that general kind of uh light worker mission which is on point but you are on earth at a particular period in time and need to figure out what to be and do here. So it's giving you the deeper layer here, be the container and help with the polarity integration. Bowing to that, thanking, yes, yes, yes. See what unfolds from here. Or if the mind has another yabat or question, let the mind do its thing. What comes from Yoda? Well, the yeah bet always comes from, like I get often at this 
sort of metaphoric high concept level what we're doing but how to translate that into you that's know, good. Lang language that somebody who's just learning about it can kind of relate to. <laughs> so mine's saying, thanks, Yoda, but how do I write that into a sales page? How do I do marketing around that? Good. Valid enough question from the mind and from the 3D perspective. So that, uh, back over to 5D Yoda here and see, see what comes back. Well, something about the fact that most pe people can relate to having, having inner conflict. Mm -hmm. so okay, very one good. One direction and the other. Or, yeah. They want to <clears throat> be approved of by society, but they also have their inner longings and sometimes they're at war. And how do they integrate that? Or um, they have many talents. Which one do they follow? Um, that kind of thing. So yeah. I guess using terms like inner, in, uh, finding inner harmony, clarity of direction might be a doorway in. Mm -hmm. Harmony, clarity, resolving those conflicts and those longings and figuring out what to do with those many talents. Yeah. So it's given you some of the lingo and concepts for your to attract yeah. and to, 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 for the match, Who, who's a match. Yeah. And of course, all, all the people who know that they're sabotaging themselves. So again, that's a form of inner conflict. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but a very uh, precise word that's coming across a so sabotage. Sab oh, ah, uh, 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 I can't even spell it. It's a tricky one. Your, can your left brain spell sabotage at the moment? S-A-B-O-T-A-G. There's an O. That's where I went wrong. Okay. Thank you. So bowing to your mind who could do the spelling and bowing to uh, Baby Yoda. And now what? Now what's the next layer here that emerges? Is it another question or a yeah, but? Is there more detail from Yoda? I feel like I have some sort of blind spot around this whole thing, some place I can't see or won't see. So I'm kind of asking about that. So I'm kind of getting that I need to lay down my swords. I always hear that mm -hmm. in the higher mind, lay down my, lay down my defensiveness mm -hmm. to hearing what I need to hear. So, Okay, so uh, bowing to that, mm -hmm. laying down the swords, if you're capable right now to do that. If there's something that comes up that's a yeah, but about the swords, go ahead. But if you're okay to do that, go right ahead and lay them down. Helps with the openness. Well, I think it's about this novel that I'm writing, that the novel, for me, is just like an artistic outlet. For me, it's just like something fun I do on the side um, that lets me explore, like really weigh out their ideas under the guise of, you know, fantasy and science fiction. 
and um, and I'd be getting that I actually need to sort of integrate that back into this certification. But there's this part of me that I don't want to commercialize my art. I don't want to have it be like a promotion piece. I want it to just have its own artistic life by itself and not try to, you know, form. I, I, I wasn't even sure I was going to publish it. I, I just wanted to do it for my own personal development. <laughs> so mm -hmm. the idea of publishing it and growing a following and, and, and through that book, you know, you know, taught, you know, pointing the way to this, these other offerings in our business. Well, I think the, I think the mind just went off and running when it received the symbol, right, about the book and the writing. Uh, then the mind did its whole assumption of what that meant. So uh, first off, I'm glad to hear about the writing because I was curious about that myself, how that's been since we last spoke. So Yoda's pointing to that. The, the mind just did what the mind does with that. Let's, let's clarify. There was an assumption kind of made there. So just take that to Yoda and see what happens. Was the mind right? The whole assumption of one needs to commercialize that and get the book out and yada, yada. Well, I'm definitely getting the sense that it shouldn't just stay as some thing that I'm the only one that reads me and my editor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it should be read by more people. Okay, good. Um, yeah. So I'm definitely getting that, which makes my mind uncomfortable right there and then. But um, mm -hmm. that uh, that it could create sort of a small but avid following and those some of those people might want to explore the ideas in the book more deeply in sort of more of a didactic way okay so um bravo mind you had it right to some extent you had that right <laughs> yoda is saying no what there's a, a difference there's a softerness there's a less push you know there's a less constructing it all you know, in the typical ways that one has learned from the past, from internet marketing or whatever it might be, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the way that Yoda is presenting to it, the way I feel it, it's it's different from how your mind ran with it. Same, same. There's some similarities. There's some. Uh, the mind was not wrong, but it's uh, the feel of it or the energetic uh, or the relationship to it was different. Yeah, I sort of came across a website of somebody who had done that. They'd wrote this sort of fantasy allegorical tale, but, and then also had sort of coaching services and online courses to, and forums to explore some of the ideas. And that, that was a much smaller percentage of the population mm -hmm. as opposed to those who read it, but that there was sort of a, a they desire for that and then he said it it came out of just people asking him for that rather than him pushing that mm -hmm. on people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay great so the mind goes to its reference point of where you saw that good anything else that yoda wants to give you Um, well, p a part of the integration, it's, it's just a lot of integration of opposites, but in, a, in addition to the male-female integration, which we're all sort of here to do <clears throat> as we grow as a, as a soul, and the fact that I'm running it with my life partner, who's male, and so um, that that's an important part of it. It's that male-female integration Mm -hmm. so that's another flash that you got here excellent 
Okay, so bowing. Thank you, Yoda. And bowing to the integration and the unity, that's my word, but and the male and female really showing up there. And also your partner. The fact that you're doing it together. And those energies. So thank you, Yoda. Anything further you want to share? Well, of course, I have the question about where to live. <laughs> okay, good. That's, that's where you go next. Excellent. Okay, good. So mine wants to know, uh, hello, we got this uh, thing about where we end up living and moving and stuff. Great. So bringing that to baby Yoda here and see what unfolds. <clears throat> well, I am being shown an image on the map of Spain, which was our original destination. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, um, hopefully things will shift there <laughs> enough mm -hmm. that people can start moving again. I'll just ask your questions. So, so you got flashed to Spain, you had a flash to Spain, and then the mind's like, uh, yeah, how's that going to happen? When is it going to open? How are we going to be able to do that? So just see as so you take that understandable thing that mind did, take that back to the feet of Yoda and see what Yoda says, or however Yoda wants to communicate. you to say about logistics <clears throat> i'm trying not to get in the way of it because mm -hmm. yeah a it's a tricky of, one <laughs> it's the high stakes question so <clears throat> i just keep trying to go back to the beginner's mind mm -hmm. yeah good see if see if uh since the little girl was good at that if there's anything that she can skip on in there Yeah, I, I keep getting the sense of this place in Spain that I would never think in a million years that I'd want to go live. Mm. <laughs> so. Okay, so it's hard, but like, okay, Yoda, that's what you threw me. I guess I'll bow to that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, the brain, the mind doesn't understand it right now, right? And you can take the translator. Take your question. Take the there. There. You're saying there. Just see what unfolds as you bring that reaction and lay that at the feet of Yoda. Uh, I guess the answer I'm getting is just there's a, an energetic vibration to this place that, although how it appears in the media, like it's this island, um, 
off the coast of the south of Spain that you've probably heard about. It's called Ibiza. And to me, it, I associate that with like, you know, raves and people who go and, you know, it gets overrun with millions of people and it's just like a party mm. island night mm-hmm. and day. And that just seems like the last place I'd ever mm. want to live. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you're like, you're really a visa. Okay. So, so good. So see, as you give that reaction, see what it says in response to that. In, in response to the typical reaction that you first had, it's saying something about energetic vibration, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's an energetic vibration to the place. And, you know, since COVID, that whole scene might mm. change quite dramatically anyway. Yeah, really good point. <clears throat> Is it Biza I or E? I-B-I-Z-A. Thank you. Okay. And so bowing to that, like, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yes, we did just have this thing, COVID, so that might impact what Ibiza used to be. Mm-hmm. Then, then where does the mind go if the mind is what's next? Um, the mind wants to know if there's anything else that I need to see about this that I haven't been able to see before this. Okay, fair enough. So over to you, Yoda. That's that's what the mind volleyed over. Well, the dragon and Yoda are showing me on a pedestal, a, um, a flower inside the, a glass covering, kind of like in the Little Prince book. Um, you may or may not be familiar with it, but it's um, this prince, this <laughs> fantasy story of this prince living on this tiny planet, and he has this one rose that breaks open through the cracks in the in the planet, and but it just, you know, gets easily wounded by the mm-hmm. elements. So we get a little glass case for it. So there's this little rose in the case. So I'm, I guess I need to get an interpreter to help me. Yeah. Okay, good. So it flashed symbolism to you. And the mind understands the story and rattled off its best take at it. So mm-hmm. it kind of halfway got there. Mm-hmm. So see what Yoda says. The little prince and the rose, and uh, the, yeah, yeah. I think the rose is sort of symbolic, uh, feels like the rose is symbolic of this thing that we're birthing, this aspect of our business we're birthing, which is to train people in the method we've been using for 20 years, which has been you know powerful for people, but trying to you know translate that into something systematized that other people can use has taken us a while, but now I feel like we've done it. And so then it becomes, it just needs, it's just sort of gentle at this point. Um, it, I mean, it's fragile. That's what I'm looking for, fragile mm-hmm. at this point. And so it needs some protection. Okay. And so don't kind of expect it to be this big hardy rose bush right away. Like just be, give it lots of, sort of protection before I'm not sure okay why does it need so much protection and um lots of care and love and nurturing and protection from the elements because it's it's new in the collective consciousness and it's Mm -hmm. not going to be as easily accepted as other forms out there it's a bit sort of um how should we say pioneering in the approach (laughs) So yes, it might yes. it might get lots of criticism or pushback or at first, but you know that's what we feel called to bring. Mm-hmm. And it might have a small audience at first that will okay. grow. It's new, so it's got that delicacy. It's delicate mm-hmm. and and uh, sweet and pure, and it's a new a new type, a new breed. Beautiful. So bowing to 
the wisdom of Yoda about this. Anything else the mind is curious about or wants to say in response to that or any other aspect of your being? I guess I like to know when to move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I may not be able to get fair enough question. Yet. Yeah, <laughs> valid logical question. Yeah. Um, you could try clock and calendar. You'll have that somewhere there in Alpha Mind too. So. Okay. Yeah. Calendar. Okay, that would be good. As you walk over or whatever over to the calendar, anything you notice as you start to encounter it and get closer to it and it comes into view. Yeah, I'm getting late October. Okay. Bowing to that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then what emerges? Anything else from either side or any other side? I just have one more question about this. I feel this agitation in my heart a lot, this agitation in my chest. Mm. And I'd love some more insights as to what that is and how to deal with it. Sounds like a great thing to place at the feet of Yoda and ask while you are getting all sorts of goodies from Yoda. Good one to bring forward. So laying that down at Yoda's feet him aware of the heart and pointing to the heart. What's Yoda say in response, however he communicates? Uh, I kind of get those like growing pains, like a you know, the heart is <clears throat> thawing and developing like a higher vibrational layer to it. And it's purging old negative energy. And so it's kind of like a detox. And it's going, kind of yeah, like beautiful. It. Going through a process. It's going through a detox process. Right. Wonderful. Right. Yeah, so just reassuring you, this is a growing process. And with, a, with most growing processes, there's growing pain. So this just giving you the wisdom, this is a detox process. How's, how's that land for you and for the mind? Yoda is saying it's growing pains. It's a detox process. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that before. And I guess I just feel like, uh, is there some way that I could, manage it that would work better valid enough question see what happens uh, i guess yeah not to be afraid of the energy that it's good energy it's new energy that wants to come forward and just to kind of be more open to it which has been a theme all way along here, that openness. So trying to open the heart to that mm -hmm. and the mind, right? All, all the aspects, how to, how to look at this detox with some openness. Right. Loosen up to it. Right. Okay. Very good. Thanking the wisdom.
And I'm just scanning my own mind is scanning all the different things that you had brought to the session. And I think tick, 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 most of them have been answered here. So just go to, go to mind or any other aspect of your being at this point in time. You can connect at any time to your inner wisdom. You don't need me to do it. But since we're, we got it all set up here, see if there's anything else you want to bring to the feet of Yoda, noting this, knowing this communication continue to unfold, right? It doesn't have to all get done in this red hot minute, but just see if there is anything in this minute that wants to occur, anything that Yoda wants to get across to you before you segue. Uh, just getting an image of a diamond in heart, like... Um, hmm. Diamond heart. <laughs> diamond, yeah, diamond heart. So those mm -hmm. two words have to go together. Um, or that notion of the double diamond heart um, activation where, because I heard someone talk today and talk about, you know, what's involved and why, why diamonds are so precious is they take millions of years of grinding. It's the grinding of the, of all these huh. um, rocks <laughs> together that creates the diamond. So it's just this, the, the it's like such a metaphor for us as the soul <laughs> and human beings, eh? Like, oh, all this grinding is eventually getting a diamond. Out yeah, of mm -hmm. yeah. And so to just keep the eye on the prize of that. <clears throat> wow. Under pressure, out comes diamonds. It's a pressurized process. Right. Lots of detox and growing pains and pressure and tension. But there is a reason to it all. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, bowing to that. Thank you, Yoda. Where do you go now? Um, I kind of want to ask, <laughs> I don't know if this is possible, but ask for some kind of... Um, ongoing guidance as we build this business mm. some kind of ongoing sort of angel or something <laughs> yeah so so this longing for uh connection or sponsorship or um uh patronage right a patron <laughs> oh uh, i actually didn't didn't mean that in this moment, but actually that's true. Actually, we, I keep getting this vision. I've had this vision for years that there is some sort of patron, some sort of, I don't know. I was, I was thinking of Yoda as your patron saint here. Yeah, but I was also, uh, I've been getting a vision uh -huh. that it would actually be in the 3D world, somebody that, you know, like an angel investor. That Yeah, you know, that must have been my the patron was crossing in my head so so let's just go to yoda with this right so you're like okay yoda there's a longing here curl's got a longing and it's got this essence it's it's formless right now it's it's coming into form and it's got this essence around support and patronage and yoda knows what we're swimming around see what mm -hmm. how yoda responds yeah i get that there's a few patrons, like three, I'm getting the number three, and mm. that um, the patronage in different ways. Um, but I guess my then my big question is how to connect with that. Mm -hmm. Lay it at Gilda's feet, see what happens. I'm uh, getting, oh, it's interesting. I'm getting a message that all of them are in one place and it's like a group to join. Hmm. 
Okay, bowing to that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now what happens? How do we get connected to the group? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, logical place to go. Mm -hmm. Lay that at Yoda's feet, see what happens. I can call it in, just kind of say that I'm ready. Mm. Is it possible to do that right now? Let out the clarion set a song. Yeah. So go ahead. It doesn't have to be audio if it's not audio, but lots of different ways to do it. Maybe join well, with Yoda, see what wants to happen. Yeah, I'm getting an image of sort of joining into a circle hmm. um, with With a group, there's a specific kind of group with a certain kind of energy that relates to what we're doing and that wants to bring like-minded people together. So it's some sort of group that maybe we've always been meant to connect with, but we need to be a bit more ready. Mm -hmm. Ready is the magic word. Yeah. Oops. Anything that wants to happen now, go to Yoda if you don't have the answer yourself right now. I just feel in this like, okay, we'll do it. Put the put put it out, right? Send out the etheric request. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's I just got the saying, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're ready. We needed to clear a bunch of other things up first, but now mm -hmm. we're ready. Okay. So that, that's what's going out is this statement you're stating, we are ready. Mm -hmm. uh, in Body Talk, we'll do um, permission statements. And you'll say them three times. I've just instantly gone to tapping so i'm just going to invite you to say we are ready three times you'll find your own inflection start with three we are ready we're ready and we are now ready to join okay nice see what unfolds as you do that Yeah, I'm kind of seeing this big blue beam of light that creates a sort of energetic field that we can walk into and cool. So tap into. good, walk in. Good, walk into it. Take your partner's hand, point point to it, and walk into it. Anything happen with him? I felt I felt something when I said, "Take his hand and walk into it." I wasn't. Well, he was a little trepidatious, as he often is about new things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he's like, "Well, what? Well, well, define this blue thing to me. What are we stepping into, honey?" Yeah, good. Okay, so understandably, a little bit of trepidation there. Did it happen after the trepidation, or where are we? 
Yeah, he's there. Okay. Yeah. So just a little bit of orientation needed and explanation and then the entering through and in happened. Great. Well, um, you may have wandered away from how close you were to Yoda, but you're in that place, you're in that blue light, you're stepped into that particular call and that group. Oh, Yoda and the dragon came along with us. Oh, great. That's, ha that's handy. <laughs> Good. I was going to say, call back to them, thank them, <laughs> and you're on your way. So they're accompanying. So there, there's your original thing you asked too, right? Because before I went off on patron stuff was like, you know, you, you, it was that connection you wanted right. to, your, to your project. And here they are. They're coming to you. You've got both a dragon who's no longer cramped right, or dormant, but has expanded, has uncontracted itself and is active, accompanying you on the, on the journey and probably the protector, too, of the pioneering new energy, the roseness. Right, right. See, see if there's anything those two want to say to you as you're evolving here and continuing along. This is going to be a journey, so it's going to continue, you know, much beyond this particular session here, but anything they want to say as you segue into the next phase here of, of all being together on this project and on this journey. What's the dragon want to say? I, I made the connection to protection, but maybe it has more it wants to say. Yeah, kind of protection, acceleration. Like Ooh. I see mm -hmm. all of us on the back of the dragon with mm. big wings and flying and mm. taking the whole thing faster, farther. And I see it in that blue kind of energy, you know, that avatar blue kind of phosphorescent blue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that energy, that, that particular tone and that energetic has been so present for you. It's a theme all the way along. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, so up there on the dragon and accelerating. Yeah, and the blue light's kind of like magic <laughs> energy sort of you know fairy dust <laughs> mm. Where's Yoda in this, bidding, bidding you for, farewell and waving you as you are sailing off with the dragon accelerating? No, no. Is he, he right on there with you? Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice companion for the journey. Good. Okay, Yoda, guide us. What do you want to say to end this? You guys sail off into the horizon here. Well, that's interesting. Yoda's been kind of in the saddle kind of controlling the dragon but now he's giving us the reins ah yeah i put him behind you so yeah so here you're in the front yeah, yeah. cool kind of to wield that power with with wisdom so kind of like we're getting ready to yeah
I'm just going to write wisdom because I can't figure out how to spell wield. <laughs> wield with wisdom. W-I-W-E-I. -E You're stumping me. You're stumping me today. I before you. I before you except after C. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So it's giving you, he's giving you the, 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 the control, not control is not the word. What was it? The reins, the reins, beautiful. Yeah. yeah, and to wield it with wisdom. Another I before E. Although I think there's this G in there. <laughs> I'm normally pretty good with spelling. I think it's R E I. -E. Well, see, it's it's also rain. I, maybe that's what's happening, right? Because you have a lot with the queen with the rain, so that might be. No, I think you're inter right. Interfering, right? Because it's it's a play on words. There's both. So yeah, exactly. so let's get rain like reindeer. It's the rains, and then there's uh, if my, my perception, it wasn't a mistake. It's it was an overlay. It was also rain, right? Adopt that queen uh, energy. Right. I'll just put a little crown. Wielding with wisdom of that blue light. Okay, go to Yoda. Yoda, anything else you want? I'm doing my best. The map is not the territory you've covered, Rhoda. Uh, Rhoda. <laughs> Yoda, I have a colleague, Rhoda. <laughs> she'll, she'll like that I transposed her with Yoda. <laughs> I had reins in there. Yoda, anything else you want on here? The map is not the territory. I do my humble best to try to take notes of what you're laying at our feet, but anything you want on here, staring back for Carla and for her partner as they, you've already got them well on their journey here. Dragon, anything you want to say? Have we got it? Knowing more will unfold. I think we've got it. Okay. So I'm going to take them uh, uh, with you here. So as the dragon, uh, dragon, I'm going to just alert you that Carla's sitting there in the time and place of 2020. And I'm going to invite you. What you're going to look for is a human being sitting there in 2020 in front of this computer. There's this body parked there. And you guys are going to fly up to that body miniaturize yourself and fly down from the top of the head. It's got it. It knows. It's like, do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, archetypal one. Of course you know how to do this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom, you're there. He did it with such uh, command. Yeah. And they're there and there in you, in the Shashumna, occupied there at the base of the spine, ready to join and take flight and interact and embedded there within you. Uh, little you is going to, uh, uh, well, you've already done it. It all stays there. They stay there, the dragon stays there, Yoda stays there, the rose stays there, and all you have to do is just open your 2020 eyes with it all intact within you. As you come back to 2020, opening your eyes, moving your fingers and toes and limbs with the feeling of dragon and Yoda and rose and book and Spain. And the swords and the crown, even the rabbit and the little girl, all embedded there within you. In integration, integrated in you here in June 2020. And the journey will unfold with the integration 
at this level now. Wow, great imagery. Now you opened your eyes. <laughs> ah, I did. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> no, 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 no. That's exactly what you're supposed to. But I'm like, oh, that's what you're saying because you could see the map in front of you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was great imagery. You always give me great imagery to play with. So it's a matter of trying to keep up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do my best, scramble along behind you to get some semblance of it down. But yes, as per usual, you have a humble recording of the majesty of what occurs inside within. <laughs> No, you do pretty yeah. good on Yoda. We have a little baby Yoda. Um, cause my husband's really into him. <laughs> so we have a little baby Yoda like um, figurine here. <laughs> uh -huh. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's like, hmm, how do you do a baby? Okay, we'll do, try a little softer, a little less wrinkles, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sweet. Well, always a pleasure. Um, as you know, it's right brain work, right? So the, we can check your left brain. How's your left brain? Any sides want to say? What's a closing comment at this point in time? Having come back from this journey and, and ripple effect, right? You'll see what cascades from here. But that inner work is often very powerful. And uh, lo and behold, things unfold. Yeah, it kind of confirms stuff that has come up before and kind of clarified other things. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's good. One of my teachers, that's one of his lines. It is good. <laughs> it is <Yeah>. good. <laughs> we'll do journeys and stuff, shamanic stuff, and at the end of it, he'll go, it is good. <laughs> so there we go. Perfect quote. It is good. Yes. Sounding like Hank. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. It's just going to take some integration mm -hmm. from left to the right, to whole brain. And the physical world, right? The physical world's doing a lot of stuff right now. So yeah. uh, it needs to go through its pace and timing and stuff, which it, it will. It'll show itself and do what it's going to do here. And yeah. Yeah, I'm yawning a lot, which I don't normally do. So obviously there's some kind of intense um, inner integration going on right now yeah good sign from the parasympathetic system yeah right. and uh often when we're walking around with stress that we're it's a stressful time right now and sometimes it takes something like this to realize how much stress we have been holding right when you go to the vibrations of what you went to just now the, the contrast of it how nice to bring that back into 2020 and relax it down give the, the body a, a break right, and a different vibe to be at. Nice. I feel, thank you. It's always a co-benefit as I get to tag along. I can feel that energy as well. It's really nice in my nervous system. Thank you for that. Oh, good. Well, thank you. Thanks for your insight along the way as well. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure.